Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So let's see what is going on with Scorpio in May. What are the overall energies? All right, so we have inner child and we have barrier. Okay. So this could be for the both of you or it could just be for one of you. I definitely feel that it's at least for Scorpio. It's just giving me that feeling here that there might be something um, from your past, an inner child wound, a trauma, something that might be serving as a barrier for you to either find some happiness, to find some peace, or it could be serving as a barrier in some way um, in your connection or when it comes to a connection coming together. So let's get into this and see what this might be about. But again, it could be your person. It could definitely be your person. And I'm hearing trust issues at the moment. So it could either be for you, it could be for the other person, possibly. Um, maybe they were abandoned, if it's them. Um, when they were younger, maybe they were neglected, and so they have a hard time opening up or feeling close. Let's see. And I do think that for some of you, this might be something that is being mirrored. Like, this could also be happening um, for you, because I actually did see the mirroring card um, right before I started this video. All right, so Scorpio, let's see. Oh, starting off the reading, we have the devil crossed by the star. Okay, so the good news is that there's definitely hope here, all right? There is definitely um, some divine guidance that is trying to come through in order to guide this situation, in order to guide this connection, or to guide you in a certain way. Um, it definitely feels like there's a lot of fear okay, involved here. For some of them, it could even be, um, or for you, that there is just something very toxic in your life or in their life, and that this person is, whoever it is, is having a hard time healing from. And that's why I'm just um, inclined to feel that this devil is related to that inner child for the most part, okay? It could definitely be other things as well, but I feel like the root cause for whatever it is that's going on that is toxic or unhealthy is an inner child wound, all right? Um, and this is something that needs to be that needs to be healed, okay, with the star being here in this position. See the recent past, we have the King of Swords and the near future, we have the Sun. Okay, so that's really good news, actually, all right? Um, I feel like there was, in the past, it feels like things may have either gotten cold or there was just something very, um, harsh that may have happened in this connection, but I do see the sun beginning to shine coming up in the near future. We'll see what that is about when we clarify. Let's see, for you we have strength, for them we have justice. All right, wow, that's a lot of major arcana out already. I mean, out of the, what is it, six cards? Yeah, six cards, five of them are major arcana. So I feel like whatever it is that you are dealing with, in, at this point in time, there's a lot of um, big things happening, a lot of very, very strong energies. Let's see more about you here. We have the Knight of Wands, more about them. We have the Page of Wands, potential outcome. We have the Seven of Cups, and for a message for you here is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so. I feel like you have really gotten stronger because if you are also, um, if you've been dealing with an inner child wound or with a past trauma, I feel like you have either worked hard or you're just really, really tapping into that, okay? I feel like you are 
finding that compassion for the inner child within you and in some way this is helping you to gain that courage to move past that because it might not you might not be able to see how this could be directly related to this connection with somebody or to love in your life but it is okay it is because it does affect you it does affect you and it affects your energy and it affects um, what you put out into the universe and therefore it affects what comes to you and what it is that you can manifest and I see you really standing strong here so that's um, that's really really positive and also with the Knight of Wands you know I see you actually moving forward taking action in a very positive direction all right with passion for your person I, I mean, I see them being in a pretty good energy too. I mean, we'll see more when we clarify. But it could be that they're in the process of really trying to balance themselves out and possibly trying to make some sort of a decision. Um, but I do see them, I do see their intentions being in the right place here. Okay, so if they're dealing with something that is very unhealthy in their lives, they're trying to make a decision based um, for that. And I do see them being um, in alignment with their higher self in order to make the right decisions. It might just be um, a process because the devil's energy is never one that is easy to deal with. All right. Um, I do get the sense also that they might be just one step behind you, okay, because they're showing up as this page of wands, you're showing up as the knight of wands. However, they are taking that step. They are taking that step forward. Um, like I said, I do see things beginning to get better in the near future here with the sun. Although for the potential outcome, we, we have the seven of cups. So there might still be a little bit of um, cloudiness that needs to be that needs to be cleared. So again, we'll see when we clarify. So let me start by clarifying the devil and the star. All right, we have the Magician, we have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and I did get one more here, the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, you know, no matter how hard this is, this is all very, very beautiful and positive, positive energy. I feel like the both of you, you are open to love. You are opening up to that. Um, again, I feel like there's a lot of love here, even between the two of you, all right, the way that this is showing up, and I feel that it is being manifested. It is being manifested, but it is being manifested the more that you take care of yourself, okay? And again, this could just be, this could just apply for your person, so take it as it resonates. But it's like this person is, whoever this is, is finding more and more of that self-worth, from within and that also does come from um, healing an inner child wound as I've been saying and through that that is when love can be manifested that door to love can be opened it's just taking a little bit of time and I feel like this is still a work in progress but spirit is here is letting you know here that it is moving in that direction all right so right off the bat we're getting that So let's see strength for your energy. All right, so we have strength again. Okay, wow. So maybe, I mean, there's a lot of um, the lovers and the two of cups. Wow. I was going to say, there's a lot of signs out on the table, so I don't just want to call out, you know, one or two. There's so many, so it's probably pointless for me to say, but beings that we did get strength out twice, and we also have the sun, that would be Leo energy. We also have these two wands here, so some of you might be dealing with the Leo, all right? Definitely let me know. Capricorn also, I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Um, Libra, Aquarius. So, um, Wow. 
you're feeling, I feel like you're really picking up on what the other person is feeling as well. Um, I don't know why, but this sense of mirroring is just really, really hitting me very, very strongly right now. Um, even if it's not showing up in the cards, I'm just really picking up on that. You are really finding courage within yourself to heal whatever it is that needs to be healed in order for love to be able to enter. And like I said, I feel like you are one step ahead. Um, I feel like there is a very, very strong bond here between you and another person. I do feel like this is a divine soulmate, um, for sure. Let me see the Knight of Wands. All right, we have the Fool and we have the Seven of Wands. All right, so um, a big part of you moving forward in that direction is based on you really being able to defend yourself, advocate for yourself, stand up for yourself, and just stand up for what you believe is right. And that could be something that maybe you struggled with in the past. Um, and I feel like right now you're really moving very, very quickly in the direction of really knowing how to say no to others, knowing to ask for what you want, and not letting people take advantage of you. That's a, that's a very big thing um, or a big factor in you moving forward and opening up your energy um, for love. All right, let's see for them. Let's see justice. All right, we have the hermit and we have the three of pentacles. I'm telling you, it's like the major arcana just doesn't stop coming out. Um, Yeah, this person is really going within. They're doing a lot of soul searching. So I don't know if you're in communication, if you're not in communication. I feel like for the most part, you might not be in in full contact. All right, just based off of this, just what I was getting here with the King of Swords from the past. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. This person is doing a lot of thinking, a lot of going within, and a lot of really getting in touch with with their own self in order to be able to make balanced decisions when it comes to um, either other people, maybe even contracts that are in their lives, or just how can they cooperate or compromise with you in love, okay? So I feel like that might have been an issue here as to how can, how can there be, you know, this sense of us working together as a team? Like, what is it that can make us both feel like, like we're both working on this together and both doing our part? Let me see the page of wands. This person may have, may also be really um, deeply thinking about past decisions that they have made, or even past agreements um, that are in some way related to what is going on between the two of you now. All right, so clarifying the Page of Wands, we have the High Priestess and we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so again, I feel like, like you're past the most difficult part, or you're at least getting there, okay, um, very soon in May of whatever it is that you needed to heal within your own self. Like I said, I feel like this person is, um, you know, a step behind you. They are moving in the in the right direction here, okay, with the High Priestess. I Again, I feel like this is a lot of really discovering one's own self, really going deep and being in touch with their with their own intuition, just like with the Hermit, right? Going deep and, and really um, thinking about decisions that they have made and how they want to proceed in the right way. Um, I feel like something else that's big on their mind is how they can be fair in this connection. Um, for them, it's a, bit, it's a bit more difficult at the moment, all right? With this Ten of Swords here, there's something here that is making them feel um, 
a lot of pain, something is very difficult, and I'm not sure if it is related to you. I don't really get that it is, although it definitely could be. It could be, and even if it is related to you, I feel like, again, the root of it is somewhere else, and it's coming up for a reason. It could even be um, a betrayal from the past, as I said, you know, or being abandoned in the past, which really um, affected them in a way where it hasn't been healed yet. But like I said, they're, they're taking steps. They're taking steps to heal whatever it is in them that needs to be healed in order to recover from that devil's energy that is kind of still there. All right, so let me see the sun. Let's get some positive stuff here. What is coming up? All right, the Empress. Wow. Okay, this, this could be actually a number of things and I am getting, ooh, and look at that, the sun is at the bottom of the deck as well. So that's the sun twice. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know if you're dealing with Leo because um, that's, that's a lot of Leo showing up. Um, yeah, so several messages coming through. I feel like this is you really stepping into that Empress energy that you know is there within, really taking care of yourself. This could definitely apply also to your person because I do see them moving in that direction and this is leading to just this feeling like everything is just lighter. Things are not so heavy. Feeling happiness, being able to find fulfillment. All right, and what I'm also getting, the second message here, is that for I feel like for a lot of you or for a lot of them, it could be that there is some truth that is coming up to the surface concerning a mother figure, all right, which could be related to whatever that inner child trauma is or was. Either way, this is something very, very positive that is coming up pretty, pretty soon. All right, so let me clarify the seven of cups for the potential outcome here. And mind you, the outcome is just the temporary outcome, all right, for now. Things can always shift. Look at that, the sun wants to come out again. I'm telling you guys. All right, so we have the sun and we have the ace of wands. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that, yeah, you know, so... There's still, as I said, certain things that that might need to be cleared out, all right? It's like residue kind of a thing. Um, there might still be some options to be considered when it comes to which way should I go about doing this? How do I make this happen, right? It's like that. Um, however, that potential for the sun <laughs> and for a new beginning, new beginning very, very likely with this person here, okay? The same person we've been talking about because the Ace of Wands is like, um, a reigniting of of a connection that is very much um, in the possibility here and w the message that I'm getting is that sometimes you know there are alternate paths that we can take and each one will actually lead to the same outcome maybe just in a different way it might take different time with one path than it would with another path but no matter which option you choose, I feel like it's leading here. I feel like you've basically, the both of you, you've locked onto this path of moving towards healing. It just does take a little bit of time. But this happiness and this fulfillment is very much um, possible here. So we do also have the Four of Pentacles here as a final message, which I feel is like, you know, you're both, you're both holding on to each other. Um, I feel like you're both holding on to each other and also holding back from each other a little bit at the same time. Yeah, okay, so the Seven of Swords. So that's definitely, you know, I feel like you have this sense of... What you're holding on to is not really playing out. There, Or there might be a little sense of, you know... Um, it just feels like this escapes you, like this um, connection that just keeps escaping. That's okay. All right, that's okay. I, I feel like the message here is to just, you know, really work on building that strong foundation within your within yourself. All right, it's okay to just work on yourself. 
for a while until until things are ready. All right, Scorpio. This was an interesting reading. Reading it feels really different um, than other times, and then and from the other readings that I did this time around. So let's get your final oracle message if this resonated, and if it did, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, and we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. <laughs> wow. Yeah, release and heal the past. And sometimes, you know, recovering from childhood wounds and traumas, it does, it does sometimes involve forgiving. Not always, but it sometimes does involve forgiving and as well as learning. There will always be learning. So yeah. Heal the past. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for watching and much love.